Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We are playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and this is the Kart vs. Bike vs. ATV Challenge. If you guys are new to this series, um, I would recommend watching from the beginning, but a very quick rundown for you. We are using the standard cart, standard bike, and standard ATV, putting them to test on every single track in the game to determine which is the fastest. Um, it's kind of mostly my views, but hopefully these type of videos help you guys understand the game a little bit better and make the decisions uh, based on your driving preferences. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get into the next track, Animal Crossing. We're gonna use Isabel. I mean, it's only fitting that Isabel races this track. So let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start off with the cart as always. Uh, let's also give you a quick rundown of this track here. So this track was originally DLC in Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. Um, and it's a very unique track. Uh, not, not just the fact that it's Animal Crossing, you know, uh, but the fact that this track, just like in the Animal Crossing games, um, it changes, uh, the seasons change. The, now, it doesn't uh, change based on time, unfortunately, but the seasons change. There are four different seasons, of course, if you aren't fully aware of it. Um, there's spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, so now we're playing on time trials here. Uh, the default track setting is set to summer. Uh, so whenever you're racing on time trials, this one right here will always be the one that you race to get your best time. Uh, because obviously with each different iteration of the season, the track layout does have some different variations. Uh, for example, in springtime, uh, there are seemingly more of uh, the jump boosts uh, laid out across the track in certain areas. So it seems like it could be for more of a faster race. Um, and then in autumn, um, I believe there are no jump boosts whatsoever in uh, that version. I could be wrong. If I am, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, and then, of course, in winter, the terrain is different. It's set to basically a winter terrain, like a snowy terrain. So traction definitely changes very, very much um, in that version. So that's why there's only one version you see here that we're going to race on for this in time trials, but yeah, um, very simple track, and here you go, car finishes in a minute 50 seconds, just roughly, it's kind of the average time for standard race here uh, on Animal Crossing, and so yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and take this time, and we're going to use the bike now to race against it, we'll see if the bike can outperform the cart. All right, so this time we're on the bike here. We're gonna try and uh, stay within the same lines as we did the cart. Um, I can't guarantee that we'll do the same though, but we'll see how things go. All right, so far the cart is faster. I don't honestly remember how many <laughs> how many uh, bells, I almost said coins. Uh, I gotta remember that on this track here, it's not coins, it's bells. Well, so far so good, we're pretty much even. Yeah, we are like neck and neck here. I'm actually kind of surprised. Alright, now we're getting some speed. No, maybe not. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of speed. Okay. Yeah, half a second faster. I think the reason why we're ahead a little bit, again, these turns, if you guys aren't really familiar with uh, how these carts differentiate in turns, um, obviously bikes, they are usually slower 
when it comes to their speed. Um, however, they could take much sharper turns than carts can. So that shortcut there, I'm definitely able to take a little bit more of a sharper turn than I would with the cart. And as a result, uh, nearly one second ahead of the, the cart there with the bike. So that's pretty cool. Nothing else to say. Uh, but however, we do have one more uh, challenge ahead of us, and that's the ATV. And we're going to put that against the bike here to see if that can win. So let's check it out. All right, finally, the ATV here. Uh, if you guys haven't figured it out yet with each of these, like the ATV and the cart and the bike, um, we're only changing the body, obviously, right here of these vehicles. The wheels and the glider, as you can see, have stayed the same throughout. That's just to give it a little bit more of a fair challenge. I hit a wall there. I don't know if that will make a difference. Uh, but so far, we are again dead even here. Uh, now the, not really. Yeah, we'll. I'll still say we're dead even, but that this uh, bike is slightly faster. Um, one thing to note between a bike and the ATV: ATVs usually tend to have higher top speed, um, pretty much the highest top speed. However. Handling and acceleration is not a strong suit So that is what you got to kind of keep in mind too when you're trying to figure out which one is best for you Even with me doing some extra drifts, I don't think it's gonna help I could see if I can grab some extra uh, bells here on the track But I don't know if that will help. I doubt it will help maxed out, but I don't think it's going to help here. We did catch up a little bit, but that didn't help. It's just because of the handling there. But as you can see, it's actually almost as fast as the bike. I mean, you could argue it is pretty much as fast as the bike. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the handle is just different. At least that's just kind of in general there. Um, but you guys obviously, you know, have your own preferences. If you like using ATV, you know, that's something definitely can keep in mind. So if you want to practice up on some ATV skills, knowing that it's, you know, definitely faster uh, when it comes to top speed. But you know can lack in some departments you can use those to your advantage like if you know you're gonna have to take a sharp turn you may have to drift a little earlier in the atv as opposed to the bike um kind of same thing with the cart um and then obviously if you're on the bike and you want to try and take those sharp turns you know just time it well and you can take those sharp turns with ease um that's some advice for you guys there um, but the winner of this challenge is the bike. The bike takes home the victory as you could argue the optimal uh, vehicle to use on this track. But again, the choice is yours. I mean, yeah, just don't don't take don't audit, honestly don't take my word for it. Like don't obviously just choose the bike just because I say so. Again, you guys make the choice. Uh, but this is just a general observation here. That's all it is. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have more of these ATV cart bike challenges coming up in the near future. So stay tuned. We're not even halfway through with all the courses. We still have uh, a few other sets of tracks to get to. <laughs> uh, that's at least left of the original 48 here in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, but the challenge is on. Let's see if we can get all these videos out by the end of the year. That'd be great. All right, you guys have a great night or a great day, wherever you guys are at. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.